I want to congratulate Florida on another great season. Um, a lot of respect for their team. Uh, their coach at Louisiana Tech, when I was at Little Rock, I kind of looked up to guys like that who um, have won wherever they've been and gotten opportunities. So he's somebody I've always respected. Then to compete against him tonight, it was as good as advertised. Uh, definitely one of the toughest offensive teams we played against all year. They just had it so spread out. Uh, we were forced to kind of go small ball. And two of our better players, Norrence and Tommy, just kind of made a coaching decision. And when you make those decisions, you just hope and pray that it works out because uh, regret's pretty tough to handle. So it went our way tonight. Uh, you know, a little bit of destiny at the end. Florida got three great looks. We were just really, really fortunate. Um, but I think you got to give our guys a lot of credit. You know, we held them under 70 points. Uh, we had three guys in double figures. We had a lot of balance. Our two young guys, Culver and Z, were big time tonight, especially rebounding the ball when we were forced to go small ball. So, um, you know, just really pleased uh, to coach these guys and to advance. You know, we looked at this at kind of like a four team tournament. We know we had to win two games to get to the regional. And so now we got a, a chance at another four team tournament um, to ultimately get to the biggest stage. Uh, but again, a lot of respect to Florida. Congratulations to them on a great season. And I'm really proud of our guys for advancing. Thank you, Coach. Let's go to questions for the four guys. We'll come back for Coach Beard at the end. We have Casey on this side, Katie on, on the uh, extreme left. Uh, again, state name and affiliation when you ask your question. Who wants to go first for any of the four? OK, guys, on your left in the middle. Jared Johnson with Inside the Red Raiders. I just want to ask, as I guess Keenan, really is for all four of y'all, but the fact that y'all have made this journey together, y'all came in at the same time, and then you know, uh, new coaching staff, just your feeling to be going to the Sweet 16 now. Um, it's amazing. Um, I feel like words can't really describe, but you know, this journey with these guys, and you know, Coach Beard came in and said he's going to win. And after last season, it was a disappointment. He told us. We're going to get to that tournament next year, and we're going to make a run. And you know, he kept his word, and here we are. Other questions? OK, guys, we'll move to the uh, right side on the front. Skyler Dixon with the AP. Keenan, you've talked before about how every night senior night. How does that motivate you late in games? Uh, it's everything. Um, you know, as that clock runs down, it's kind of you know, look at it like, man, I don't want my season to be over. And you know, these guys are the same way. so. We're just taking it uh, into account that, you know, senior night. OK, we'll move back to the left in the middle. This is for Zach. Um, kind of late in the game, you got matched up with one of their guards and kind of had you on the perimeter, but you were able to track him down and get that block. Can you kind of take us through uh, that play? Uh, we were switching the whole game, uh, trying to stay in front. And I knew I uh, couldn't give up a three. And when he drove, uh, just tried to make a play on the ball, and I was able to make the play. OK, extreme right now. Josh Peter with USA Today for uh, Keenan. I wonder if you can explain what happened on that uh, the alley-oop in the last uh, minute, how it got set up. And uh, Coach drew up you know, a pick and roll play for me. Uh, Zach came out. The guy kind of you know, came out too hard, and I saw an opening, so I kind of split it. And Zaire, you know, Coach told him to be waiting right there, and I know, you know, just like I was hoping he'd make a 360 dunk again, but that didn't work out. But you know, I saw him right there, so I threw it up, and you know, he went and finished it. Okay, in the middle, you're on the right. Uh, Kirk Bowles from the Austin American. Uh, Keenan, besides yourself, Isaiah really seemed to take over the game at times. What in the heck is this guy's upside? Is just a freshman and what he's doing already? Man, it's it's you know he has no ceiling and. You know, even after the season when he works and he works even this week, he's going to be putting in more work and he's one of the most hardworking guys and you know it's just shown all season. Extreme left by the TV lights. Austin Watts Daily Twitter. Justin, y'all come out or they uh, Florida comes out and scores 23 in the first 10 minutes, and then in the second 10 minutes y'all hold them to only 10 points. Mm -hmm. What changed there and what do y'all fix defensively? Just being a more aggressive and disciplined team. That's what Coach Beer preaches to us. Um, you know. Just making plays on defense and making you know make tough shots. If they make tough shots, then we'll live with it. But just trying to take away those easy shots, open threes, transition threes. Uh, and I feel like we did a great job of that. Other questions for any of the four? Coach is not going anywhere. He's coming right back. OK. On the right. OK, extreme right. No. For Keenan and Justin, 
Um, on a scale of one to ten, where was uh, Coach Beard's intensity tonight? Like any other game, he he's one of the most, you know, energized people in life. Um, he told us, you know, y'all do y'all thing, and I get the crowd ready. And that's exactly what he did. Every time we score, you see him on the sideline going like this, and you know, getting the crowd into the game. So, you know, definitely, you know, thank you to you know all of our fans for being there, supporting us because this one, they they were a big help. Uh, yeah, just like Keenan said, his intensity is, is always great every single game. Uh, very high. You know, he gets us going. Uh, and I think the most impressive thing, you know, he's doing all that on still a torn ACL. So I don't, I don't know how he does that, but it's, it's impressive to me. Okay, again, extreme left. Austin Watts, Daily Twitter. Norts, uh, y'all come out and y'all on that eight and two run. And I think that was the most excited I've ever seen Coach Beard before. How was that feeling to get back out and get the lead coming into the second half? You always want to start off fast. When we when we took the lead like that, it, it was special. Uh, they got it right back, but we know it's a game of runs. So we just stayed the course, and it ended up working out for us. Okay, we'll move back to the outside right. Yeah, Kevin Brockway, Gainesville Sun. Keenan, your, your neck for hitting big shots and big moments. How's that kind of developed over time for you? Uh, just my teammates and coaches instilling confidence in me to take those, take and make those big shots. Um, just you know, putting in the work and you know, staying confident in it, and knowing my team needs me to do that. Again, in the middle, uh, Justin. Uh, there were so many, there were so many fouls in the second half. There was a very clean first half, and then. Seemed like there was a foul every possession. Did, did that upset anybody's rhythm or getting in and out of your offense, or it just seemed like there were so many whistles? Um, not really. Are you talking on the offensive end for us? No, not really. We're just trying to be aggressive, you know, attack. We know we were in double bonus early, so we're trying to make that, you know, a statement, you know, in the timeouts uh, to tell everybody, you know, get aggressive drive. Uh, we made a lot of great drives, and then, you know, once they collapsed, we pitched it, you know, to an open cutter or, you know, open person on the perimeter. So uh, there's a lot of things that just went into it, but it didn't really disrupt us at all. Extreme left. Keenan, coach described uh, getting to coach y'all seniors another day as like getting to play on the is the best feeling in the world. How does it feel to get like another couple practices with coach? It means everything. You know, these four years feel like they, they've flown by. And once you get to this point, it's just like, man, I'm not ready for it to end. And, you know, here we are, you know, getting another week to, you know, prepare and play the game we love. Middle on the right. Yeah, uh, Keenan, I know Texas Tech is a three seed, hardly a Cinderella at all, but it's first Sweet 16 in about 13 years. So what do you think the impact is on this program moving forward? I think it's a great impact. It sets, you know, sets the path for, you know, many, many more years. And with Coach Beer being here and his staff, you know, just that, you know, sets up, you know, success in the near future. Closing questions for our student athletes. Guys, will go all the way in the back. Uh, Ivory Taylor, NBC5. Uh, can you talk a little bit about how important it is to get a game so close to campus, being in Dallas? No. We all have family from out here. Most of us are from the, this area. I mean, it was special. It was like a home game for us. So that definitely helped us tonight, and we used it to our advantage.